four years after this woman had her fallopian tubes removed, she miraculously fell pregnant again. This is how it happened, and here is what the baby looks like. Elizabeth Coe had always fantasized about the idea of a perfect marriage at a young age. When she met her husband in the lovely town of Virginia, it was love at first sight. She believed she had found a man she wanted to spend the rest of her life with. Theirs was the kind of love she wanted to spend her last breath fighting for. The beginning of the marriage was mostly happy moments. Of course, just like other marriages out there, they also had their crazy moments. However, whenever they were together, the sparks flew and they made magic together. Some months after their marriage, Elizabeth got pregnant with their first child. They were both proud parents and the love for each other even waxed stronger. They seemed like a perfect family and everyone admired them whenever they stepped out. Many believed they were a match made in heaven. Soon enough, Elizabeth was pregnant with their second child. The whole family was excited about the news. This was the dream and they intended to live life to the fullest. Unfortunately, fate, it seemed, had its vile plans for this couple. Not long after the arrival of their second child, the troubles began. It first started with minor disagreements here and there, then it turned into something toxic. Elizabeth didn't understand what was going on. She could not say for sure what the issues were. Their once peaceful home was steadily turning into a battlefield. How did they get here? She would whimper in her lonely moments. The couple tried to make it work, fighting to keep what they once had. A year later, they had their third child and thought it would bring them closer. How wrong they were! The fights increased and it even started taking a toll on their mental health. The more they tried, the more toxic their marriage became. Even though they lived in the same house, they felt very far from each other. Then one sad night, after a long fight, they decided to call it quits. Everything they shared had long disappeared and it only took them a while to realize that what they were holding on to was as empty as a pauper's purse. This shattered Elizabeth to the core. It was painful to think her once beautiful marriage was now a thing of the past. At nights, she would cry herself to sleep, and this continued for a while. However, she soon realized she was doing herself no good. If she broke down, who would take care of the kids? She couldn't watch them suffer because of her mistakes. She chose to be strong for her kids and move on with the life. Since she was now determined to forge ahead, each day became better. It was on one of these days she took a decision that would later result in an incredible journey. Soon enough, Elizabeth began considering going for a bilateral salpinectomy, a surgery where both fallopian tubes would be removed, which means her eggs could no longer travel from the ovaries to the uterus anymore. Aside from acting as a form of permanent contraception, it also lowers the risk of ovarian cancer. Besides this, Elizabeth's family has a history of ovarian cancer. This further made her want to do the operation. Moreover, she was all alone with no husband and had her hands full with three kids, so it didn't seem like a bad idea to make the move. However, the final push was a call from her mother. She urged her daughter to go ahead with the operation and she couldn't bear to lose her given the family history of cancer. The surgery was successfully carried out in their town of Virginia. After the healing process, Elizabeth chose to start life afresh somewhere else. So together with her kids, she moved to Kearney, Missouri. She got a job and settled down nicely. It was on her way to work one morning that she met a man and they just clicked right away. Things moved very fast between them and they found themselves in a loving relationship. Elizabeth began to glow as her new relationship blossomed. Her boyfriend made her feel 16 again. In fact, whenever he kissed her, it always felt like a first kiss. Time flew by fast. It was now three years and a few months since she moved to Missouri and got a job and met her wonderful boyfriend. Her life was now more colorful, so when Elizabeth suddenly noticed that she had put on little weight, she paid no attention to it. She thought it was because she was happy and had peace of mind. Then one day at the dinner table, her boyfriend, who had also noticed the weight gain, said, you should take a pregnancy test. I know it's not possible considering the operation, but just do it anyway. Elizabeth found this very amusing, but she still agreed to get the test done because she was certain the test would come out negative. Hence, she wanted to tease him for coming up with a ridiculous suggestion. The next day, Elizabeth bought a pregnancy kit and planned to take the test that night. When everyone was asleep, she tiptoed to the bathroom and took the test. But to her dismay, it came out positive. My eyes began spinning 
and I almost lost balance. For the first time, I thought I was in a dream, Elizabeth recounted. With her eyes almost popping out of their sockets, she walked into the bedroom and shoved the test in her boyfriend's sleepy face. Can you believe this? I am pregnant. He was just as shocked as she was. When he suggested taking a pregnancy test, he hadn't even taken it seriously. The next day, the couple went to the hospital and did a blood test, and it also came out positive. What in the world was going on? The shocked couple needed an explanation for all of this. So they met with a renowned obstetrician gynecologist, Dr. Don Heisman. When this doctor learned pregnant Elizabeth already had her fallopian tubes removed, she was also dumbfounded. In her 10 years of working experience, she had never seen a case like this. Her colleagues had never encountered such either. Later on, Don explained that one sure way this could happen was through in vitro fertilization. But once again, she was stupefied when she learned Elizabeth had conceived naturally. Finally, the most reasonable explanation given by the doctor was that an egg traveled to one corner of the uterus, close to where the fallopian tube should have been, and got in via a small fistula tract, thus ending up as an intrauterine pregnancy. Of course, this was just a speculation, as the doctors couldn't prove what exactly happened. It's all in theory, and one can't even prove it, but obviously something happened. An egg made it to the uterus and got fertilized, Dr. Don said. After the shock wore off, Elizabeth and her boyfriend made preparations to meet the unborn child, whom they were already very much in love with. Baby Benjamin was eventually born via C-section on March 14, 2019, exactly four years after his mom had her fallopian tubes removed. Technically, she couldn't get pregnant, yet here was baby Benjamin. What a miracle. He was a healthy child, weighing 7 pounds and 6 ounces. During the delivery, Dr. Dawn, who was still very much in shock, had to check if indeed Elizabeth's fallopian tubes were absent. Of course they were. After confirming, she then looked at Elizabeth in bewilderment and said, You need to use another form of birth control. Then both women burst out laughing. Everyone was surprised, yet excited. Elizabeth believed herself lucky to have given birth to this miracle baby. She even bought plenty of lottery tickets with the belief her lucky charm would pay off. I don't want to spoil baby Benjamin too much, so I don't call him a miracle. But my youngest calls him Angel Baby. When I look at him, I feel blessed to have him because I know the chances of him being here are just so slim, the happy mother said. After the boy's birth, Dr. Dawn found out that there had been three other instances of women giving birth without their fallopian tubes. However, none of these pregnancies resulted in a healthy baby. To make it even more extraordinary, Elizabeth was already 38 when she conceived. This is the age where doctors consider women as being of advanced maternal age. The fact that Elizabeth delivered a healthy boy with all of these very rare circumstances is like a miracle, Dr. Don said. After Benjamin's dramatic entrance into the world, the wonder baby boy is now living a normal life. Elizabeth has since resumed work, while the boyfriend stays home with the kids. Her life has gotten better with four kids, a loving boyfriend, and a mind-blowing childbirth story. I wish this family lots of love and happiness.